One of the most immutable laws of the universe is the law of cause and effect. If you do what other successful people do, you will eventually get the results that other successful people have gotten. Some people, however, confuse effect with cause. In today's video, I'm going to break this down for you because it's become very particular to the issues in the state of Florida and our nation as a whole. There are people that believe our governor in Florida is a cause, when really he is an effect. I've used this image before, but it illustrates the idea perfectly. On the left, of course, we have three girls at the beach in Florida. On the right, we have three pictures of St. Augustine, a city in Florida. Both represent two different kinds of beauty. But what you don't see behind this image is the amount of work that it took to get to where the young ladies are and to make the city look like it does. The young ladies, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of work, a lot of time in the gym. Over on the right, St. Augustine hangs up over a million LEDs every year to light up the city. All sorts of work went into making these two examples of beauty. Now, some people would look at St. Augustine and go, wow, we need something like this in our town back home. Now, there's a lot of work that goes into it. And a lot of people look at the girls on the left and go, man, you know, I wonder why there aren't girls like that in our town. Well, it takes a lot of work. And if you're going to go walk around at the beach dressed like this, you're going to probably have to do that kind of work. Now, I've used this map before. What you're seeing here is not cause, but effect. The reason the southern states, and Florida in particular, are enjoying freedom, are enjoying wealth and prosperity and happiness, is not because they have governors that value that. It's because they have people who value that above all, and have then put people in charge to make that a reality. See, you could take a Governor DeSantis and you could put him in Virginia or Minnesota or Washington, D.C. or Michigan, and he would fail because he's not a cause. He is an effect. He is a representation of the people. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard recently on YouTube, there is a certain leftist, anarchist, Antifa sympathizer calling our governor a tyrant because in line 1097 of some bill somewhere, combined with other lines, it could possibly mean that perhaps there could be an abuse of power. If you don't have good and decent and moral people in charge of your government, it doesn't matter what the law says or doesn't say, they're going to abuse you. Now, the simple fact that it is a law defeats the idea of tyranny. Tyranny is when someone, irrespective of the opinions of the people, sits down at a desk and writes an executive order saying, this shall be so, like kings and pharaohs do. The fact that it's a law that was signed on behalf of the people of the state of Florida makes it not tyranny. But this is what you get from leftist, anarchist, Antifa sympathizers in Missouri because they're jealous. They're jealous. They cannot handle the idea that they aren't the ones leading the way because it goes back to cause and effect. You see, they thought they were doing what they needed to do creating the causes that would create an effect of a Governor DeSantis type person in their own state when everything they did created the opposite. You see, they just want their causes to be justified. They don't want to look at things clinically and say, okay, we need to go look and see what Florida did and why Florida did what Florida did so that we can stand somebody up that will have these values. 
not realizing that that takes civics and that takes a lot of hard work and a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that isn't that not going to get you retweets and likes and shares online. You see, they're trying to divide Florida. They're jealous of us. They want to be us. They know they can't be us. So they're trying to find ways to attack our governor. And believe me, if you're here and you have a problem with our governor or you have a problem with the way things are going, you don't like it, you can leave. And if you're not here, like, say, up in Missouri somewhere, and you don't like how Florida's doing things, don't come. It's just that simple. Don't come. Stay or go one way or the other. If you're in Missouri and you like your governor continually on his knees begging for federal funds or he's going to have a collapsed uh, financial system, if you like that, that is actually what's going on in Missouri right now, then by all means stay. But if you come to Florida, understand we do things differently here and you may not like it. Deal with it or leave. Because make no mistake, the last thing in Florida you'll need to worry about is our governor. The last thing you will need to worry about in Florida is our governor. Florida man and Florida woman right now especially, have no patience for anyone not from here coming here pontificating about what our governor is or what our governor isn't. Now, for those of you unaware of what I'm speaking of, Governor Ron DeSantis signs landmark legislation to ban vaccine passports and STEM government will reach this 3 May 2021, this is weeks ago. And in SB 2006, way down at the bottom, like line 1100, it says that in a state of emergency, in a state of emergency declared by our state health officer, that we can, in fact, detain people. And we can treat them. And we can isolate and quarantine them. Now, if you take that and combine it with all sorts of other things, and I'll give you the link to the long, dry description of this. You could probably make the allegation that someone could abuse this. But you see, here's the thing. There are things out there far more concerning than COVID. See, everybody takes everything they read now and put it, puts it in the context of COVID or COVID vaccines not realizing there's still another world out there. And there are things out there far, far more concerning that would require government to step in. And let me be very clear. The government didn't sign, Governor DeSantis did not sign some executive orders saying, I arrogate unto myself the power to just determine that that person needs to be detained indefinitely. He didn't do that. I mean, that's what the leftist anarchist Missouri resident said he did, basically, in a nutshell. But in case you're wondering what you're looking at, you see, you don't need to be worried about Florida. You need to be worried about Texas funding gain-of-function research on Ebola. Yep, that's right. Trojan horses and tunneling nanotubes. Ebola virus research at Texas Biomed gets NIH funding boost. 17 June 2021. But please, keep that same energy. Continue to worry about Florida's governor when Texas has just begun stepping up and ramping up gain-of-function research on Ebola and for those of you who don't remember, this stuff can get in your lungs and you can breathe it out. And it doesn't have a 97% survival rate. So yeah, Florida's going to do what Florida's going to do to protect Floridians. And I'll give you these two links from the Public Library of Science 
and Science Daily. And just to cover what I spoke of earlier, Governor Parsons of Missouri warns of detrimental consequences if stalemate over on FRA program is not resolved. The FRA is the federal bailout of Missouri because Missouri can't pay its bills. Missouri's on its knees, suckling at the teat of Washington, D.C., while Florida's going its own way. So, anyway, the law of cause and effect. If you do, in your states, what Florida has done, eventually, you will get a Governor DeSantis. Some type of an analog. Do things your own way, and you'll get what you've always gotten. But understand, there are motivations out there that people don't get, and people don't understand what's really happening. These pictures, and anybody who's known anyone who has done any kind of modeling like this, knows how much work and sacrifice it takes. It's a great blessing to the rest of us. But you should see the amount of work that goes into St. Augustine to get it ready for the Knights of Lights in November and December. To get it ramped up for all the tourists. Tons of work. Both resulting in beauty. Cause, effect. Cause, effect. Cause, effect. And the leftist anarchists don't like it. You see, they don't want any police. They don't want any government. They don't want anybody having any, but any reason to tell them to do anything ever. You see, that's exactly antithetical to the rule of law. It's exactly antithetical to the rule of law. And we have the rule of law. We have law and order in Florida. Period. And if you don't like it, if you don't like law and order, by all means, Please, go visit Oregon, go visit Washington, head for Michigan, head for the wonderful utopias, anarchist utopias, that have decided that they want to completely um, neuter their security forces. They're trying to divide Florida, and we ain't gonna have it. We are not having it. Don't like it? Leave. Or don't come, one way or the other. Believe me, you're going to have much bigger problems you come here and you start running your mouth about our governor. And that's a promise. So, I will leave it there. On a happy note, I will see you guys tonight on Twitch, 10, 10, 20, something like that. God bless, like, share, subscribe. And we will see you next time.